to my channel and today is another budget friendly wig video and this is actually going to be a um a two-part wig video i have two wigs for you guys that i wanted to get out and show you i'm late i was supposed to post a video up yesterday but stuff happens so i'm gonna try to make this short this week because i don't want to make this video super long because it's a two-part video there's first wig that i'll be showcasing or telling you about is this wig that i have on right now and it is from it's a wig and it's the name or the style of the wig is q christine and i got it in the color 1b slash 30. now uh this wig is not new it's been out for a while um or whatever however uh y'all know i've been getting i've been getting into wigs so it's not like um you know uh I'm old to this. I'm new to this. So there are going to be some wigs on my on my channel. There are going to be wigs that you probably already seen before. But hey, this is what I do. So I got this wig um, on the 27th of March. I purchased it on the 27th of March, y'all. And I got it from Diva Trust. And the wig shipped out the same day I bought the wig. Like, they weren't playing no games. Like, the same day I bought the wig is the same day that they shipped it out. I ended up getting it yesterday, which was Jan uh, June 1st. And that was the quickest I've ever received a wig in my life. And that's also including the holiday that we had, Memorial Day on Monday. So, to me, the wig came super easy. I mean, super quick. It was packaged really nicely. It came in just a standardized box I purchased uh, my shipment was just standardized five to seven business days and it came in a pink gift wrap gift wrap paper from diva tress now i have seen this wig be reviewed before on youtube however i was a little bit leery on getting the wig y'all because um short hairstyles on me like at least short wig hairstyles on me i have to kind of be careful with i've had short hair before I chopped off my hair um, a few years ago and had it like super pixie cut short and it was super cute. I loved it. However, I noticed that with wigs, I just can't find a short pixie cut wig that looks natural on me. Um, so I'm naming the title of this video, Budget Friendly Wig Fail. I'm sorry y'all. I don't like this wig at all on me. I saw so many other women review on YouTube and I thought it was looking, I thought it would be super cute on me. The fact that it had, a, you know, um, one side was really long. So it's going to give me that super sexy effect. However, I'm not liking it. And I think one of the reasons why I don't like it is just, it looks too old looking on me. I'm 29 years old. And although I like to look mature, I don't always want to look i mean i don't want to look like a grandma or like my mother my mother's beautiful she's older she's beautiful however i'm just not ready to go there yet you know what i mean so this is the wig and all of its wigness i guess um it has one side super long i will say this wig is super super thick so if you're kind of worried if the wig is going to be thick enough to cover up whatever don't worry about that it is super thick i like the layers i will say that i do like the color of the wig it doesn't look choppy it looks like it flows really nice and then the back is really nice as well so let me show you the back of this wig right here um, you probably will see baby hairs on my side of my head. But I do like the wig um, or whatever a little bit. Uh, I do have four big jumbo braids going down the back of my... Uh, I, ha I have four jumbo braids underneath this wig. So it is a little bit bulky. However, I'm not a big fan of this wig, y'all, at all. I don't like it whatsoever. So I will be backing up this wig and either giving it to my mom, who has really short hair... Or giving it to somebody in goodwill. I don't like it. It looks too mommy-ish. Too old, older woman-ish on me. And I'm just not ready to be like... I'm not ready to be 40 yet. So, um, so yeah. I don't, I don't care too much for it at all. If you have a small structure face like I do, I would definitely say be cautious when you buy this wig. I've seen other women review it, but they have a more fuller face, a uh, full face wig. So on them, it looks hot. But on me, hell to the no. I'm sorry. I'm not doing it. So, yeah, that's this wig. I don't know what you guys think. I mean, I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. I don't like it one bit. 
So yeah, I won't be wearing this wig. Uh, but it doesn't have any combs on it. It only has two adjustable straps. Um, the actual cost of this wig, I wanted to mention that, is really cheap. The wig was only $16.95. And then plus shipping and handling, I did standard shipping and handling. That was $7.95, so altogether a grand total of $24. So if you're looking for a short pixie cut wig, you have a full face, or you know you look good in short cut wigs, then I would definitely recommend it. It is thick. It has a nice cut, a nice flow to it, so you don't have to worry about, you know, uh, bumping it yourself or whatever. It is... Um, I, yep, yeah, it is iron friendly up to 400, so three, uh, 350 to 400, so if you want to bump it, you could. I'm not going to because I'm not going to wear this wig, um, but I will say the good part about it is it's super thick. Um, it's itching me though. I don't know if it's something on this wig because my, my, my head is starting to itch a little bit. Um, but yeah. So this is the Q Christine wig. Let me know down below what you guys think about this wig. I don't like it. I don't like it. Um, and if you hey, have... Alright, so this is part two of the wig video. Budget-friendly wig video. So let's go through with the specs of this wig first. The wig I actually got from Hair to Beauty. I got it within a week's time. So really, really super fast and easy. Um, this, this wig... Let me tell you. This wig, huh, T, is the Go-Go um, wig. Uh, from the Goa collection, I'm sorry. And then the style is a GO105, and I got it in a F1B30. This is the model modeling the wig um, or whatever. So this wig retails for $12.99 on their site. I actually went and checked it again on my phone just to make sure that um, it was the right price. But I will tell you this, I went back on their website and if you're interested in this wig, I will leave the link to where I purchased the wig from. I'll also try to, I'm trying to find it, I'm sorry. Um, I'll also try to find um, other sites that sell this wig because when I went back and checked their website, they only had three colors left or two colors left. They had a number two and a, a number four. So they were out of stock of a 1B30 a 1 and a 1B. So um, if you're looking for those colors, you would probably have to go and check another website. But I'll try to find other websites to sell this wig for you. So this wig is a um, bang, you know, natural cut bang wig or whatever. One of those wigs that are really good to wear when you're trying to run errands and you just need something to literally plop on your head and go. You don't have to worry about manipulating the wig. You don't have to worry about leaving none of your hair out or, you know, concealer or anything like that because the wig has bangs. Typically, with a lot of wig, wigs with bangs, you don't have to do nothing but plop them on your head, which is great. Um, so, I bought this wig because the model made me buy it. Like, the girl who's modeling this wig is everything right now on this card. And the fact that it was $12.99 made me also get it. Um, it is safe up to 300 degrees. So, if you want to curl it, I guess go ahead. I'm not going to curl it um, or whatever. But, yeah. So, it comes with the wigs and, I mean, it comes with the bangs and stuff like that. Now, let me just tell you what I think about this wig. Um, at first, when I, I actually recorded this wig, uh, me reviewing this wig earlier, and I hated the wig. But I started taking selfies on Instagram, and uh, if you haven't followed me there, go ahead and follow me. I'm on Instagram. I have two accounts, but the one account that's connected to this channel is Saber Budget Easter or Saber the Budget Easter on Instagram. I'll leave that down below too. But anyways, I was in. I was doing selfies, and you know how selfies make you, you know, feel like you know you fly. So I started taking selfies, and like after like the 20th selfie, I was like. I think I like this wig. I think I can work with this wig. So, I do kind of like it. It is kind of like growing on me. I feel like the more I wear it, it will. Um, I do have four big braids underneath this wig. So, it is a little bit bumpy on the back. But let me just show you the back of this wig. Um, or oh, whatever. And, yes. So, this is the back of this wig. It's supposed to come to like a point. I'm not sure if it's doing that or whatever. 
But anyways, I do like the wig. One thing though I will say about this wig though is on the actual model, the bangs to me look a lot more fuller, which is why I decided to get the wig. But when I put this wig on, if you can see, this wig is not, the, the actual bangs aren't as full as it shows on this model right here. Like the model, the bangs look super full and thick. But on me, these bangs are not as thick. Like... And I wish they were thick so that can give some body to the wig, but they're not. Um, or whatever. So that's one thing I will say about the wig. If you're trying to get the wig because you also want the wig because you see the, the bangs are full, just be cautious. At least the wig that I purchased, the bangs weren't full. To this me, is how mine are not actually looks when it's pressed until it gets like really dirty and greasy and then it looks like super shiny. But the wig is a light um a light shine to it is not something that you have to put baby powder on it just looks really full and really um healthy which i love about the wig uh one thing though i will say about the wig though is that it does tend to shed at least the bangs have shed to me i had to cut some of the bangs though because the bangs were a little bit too long i tried to like put the wig going back but i got a big forehead and uh, if I do that, the wig, the bangs are going to look even more uh, fray and even more thin. So, um, I had to cut the bangs a little bit because they were just a little bit too long. I still have some pieces that are in my face and all of that. But overall, I like the wig. Um, this is definitely like a wig, like I said, that you just need to go outside. You need to run errands. You can just pop this wig on. It's really cute with the hat. I actually tried the hat, uh, tried this wig on with uh, my hat. Let me show y'all what I look like with the hat on real quick before we go. So, this is the wig, how it looks like it's like if you wear like how the uh, the models wearing it, this is how the wig looks. And then with the hat that I got from Walmart for $5 last year, um, this is how it looks with the hat. So, I think with the hat, it's even cuter. Um, if I decided that I did want to wear it out, I would wear a hat with it. But this is definitely a running errands type of wig. So, yeah, I'll leave some information down below. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, leave them down below. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know what you think about the two wigs. Um, if you think, you know, yay or nay, whatever. Um, also, don't forget to subscribe, share, comment, like, and all of that good stuff. I'll see you guys on the next video.